Welcome to Weed Entertainment. And look at this beautiful bud of something called Bally Gumdrop. And I was down at the Canna in Silmar, and I really like going there lately. You know, I, I think that when I meet people that help me buy better, that is also a really big factor on where I'm going to lately. So when I go down there and the manager Armung's there, he's very happy to help me pick flowers. I give him feedback so he can give that feedback to other customers to make them help better. But for me, I can ask him, did you try this? Did anyone else try this? And he's just so helpful. So on the way out the door, I've already got my order done. And I do this a lot, but I really do it with him a lot. What's your last pick of the day? Because maybe I was going to spend another 70 bucks. And so he says, try Bally gum, uh, Bally gumdrops. And so this is that. And today's is going to be its day. Let me give my quick shout out to Vapor Cup. I have one scoop of Bally gumdrop by Ted's Buds and Goonies and Vapor Cup straw. We're going to stick this down into the Vapor Cup. It'll be ready to go in about a minute and a half. If you don't have Vapor Cup, go over to VaporCup.com. Grab one of these cups. Join along with the show. Save your stash buds. And I'm telling you, a year from now, you've realized, oh, my God, I've used less flour. I'm stoned to shit. And I use less flour. And the flavor's through the roof. You don't stink your house. Don't stink your hands. You can see it at VaporCup.com. The dock is pro-grade. Grab one of these. So we have really been doing pretty good lately. Our buys are better. We've been buying a lot of uh, 875 flour, which is right below the nine. So if you can get, that means it's either really strong or it's got bringing that good euphoria. I've been, you know, it's really hard to find really strong flour. So 875 strong flowers is a good flour for a lot of the heavy hitters. So I, I, I really, when you see 875 square, it's strong flour. You will not be disappointed. So Ted's has been bringing fire along with CBX Cannabotics. But Ted's right below CBX I mean, it's crazy. I always complain gelato is terrible. Don't buy it. And Ted's actually is bringing the guy that's bringing the good gelato hybrids, right? So today is going to be Bally Gumdrops Day. This flower has 36% THC. And let's say, I don't know anything about this, so let's check it out. So here we go. Bally Gumdrop by Ted's and Goonies at a vapor cup. And I use that 330. Uh, you can, some people go higher, uh, at nighttime. Sometimes I go lower too. I can just make the flower last a long time. <laughs> In my first draws of the day. Oh, goodness. Sweet gelato, right? Gelato. So I got to say, this morning, I already had this flower. But Brother Kacek posted, he said, try Bally gumdrops. It's a good late night try. It's really strong. And, you know, today, because I had time, I was going to do a Daytime dry, excuse me, <clears throat> and then do the review. I don't usually do that, and but sometimes it's hard to catch time. So when I can catch time, I do it. And but since he said it was a sedative strain, I was kind of hesitant to try it during the day, but I did. And actually, for me, it didn't sedate me at all. But what it did do is it's strong overall body high. It's really on you. This flower is on you and it comes along with a head high and at its height i felt kind of like i was floating i was talking with someone i was with and i'm like there's been a couple flowers that have been able to do this to me but i would say it can stick you in thought can kind of make you float a little bit and it's definitely not a good flower for a work day right <laughs> this flower is heavy enough but like i said before it keeps coming so when you think it's at its height it's going to maybe get stronger it is slightly euphoric, meaning it's not sleepy to me, and it wasn't even. It is euphoric, but not a lot, but it's in that vein. And the one thing I could take away from this 
is it's easy to get nothing done on this flower, which is not what the doc's looking for. You know, I'm not looking for that at all. But what it does hit a good note for the doc, this would be a good Sunday flower when I have nothing to do at all. So if you look at something like this and you say, okay, I like gelatos. I want a really strong gelato. Valley Gumdrop for heavyweights may hit a lot of notes. It's strong. And so how does the doc rate it? We're looking for the best. So for me, for the doc, I actually like this flower. I said a lot of things that, that usually wouldn't get a high score for me because I'm not looking to get nothing done. I always have something to get done. But as a Sunday flower, this flower hits a good base for me. Strong enough, has contentment, can feel the sunshine on your face, get lost in thought, a lot of good Sunday stoner things. So the doc gives this flower an 8.75. But there's a caveat to this. Let's say you're a heavyweight and maybe you're looking for a really strong flower and you like that all the time. This flower could get to nine. This is a really strong flower. So it's a doc 8.75. But for some people, maybe this flower is even above that, right? Uh, I bought this, like I said, at the Canisil Mart, but I'm sure Bally Gum drops around at the local dispensaries here in LA. And uh, it's definitely a doctor try. I think this flower is kind of one of the heavyweights in the market right now. So thanks for joining in. If you have a comment on Bally Gumdrop, leave it below the video. If you haven't been to my website, weedentertainment.com, I'm telling you, it's like the encyclopedia of weed. I really put so much time and effort into it. Before you buy, you can check out whatever strains, get my comment on it. I'm telling you, it really helpful. I did this to kind of be helpful for myself and for others. And I hope you're enjoying the show. If you have uh, any comments, leave it below the video. The doc is stoned. It's time to go. Party on, my friends.